Hey everybody, welcome back. Doing another... Is this a Marvel Future Revolution video? Mm, I don't know, maybe. You tell me at the end. We're going to look at something that's going on uh, with a repetitive pattern from our uh, friends over at Net Marble. You tell me if this is something that you think is a problem. And this is not just for Future Revolution, mind you. I'm trying to see if there's... I got something sent to me that I found and, or I, and then I saw it on a forum. And we're going to have a look at another game here that... Uh, in the same genre, maybe from the same developers. Like, is this going to be successful? I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think. Let's get to it. Bring me Wolverthor! All right. So our friend Sylvia and Mastoris. Uh, one, I, I love Mastoris. Posed a lot of good suggestions for MFR. Full disclosure here: the uh, this is the MFR Discord where this is posted, but this is about all games net marble. So Mastoris went through and tallied up Google Play last known updates to each mar net marble game, but does not include updates that doesn't require an app store update. But you get an idea from what's happening with Netmarble. U.S. Netmarble games from Google Play last updates. The last one was Merge Fantasy Island, which was about seven days ago. Uh, King of Fighters All-Star, that was about nine days ago. The Seven Deadly Sins, about 14. BTW World, 23 days ago. Golden Bros, 28 days ago. Blade and Soul, Re Blade and Soul Revolution, about 30 days ago. Marvel Future Revolution, the game that we're currently kind of talking about and playing, 35 days ago. Seven Nights 2, 35 days ago. Lineage 2, 37 days ago. Ninu Kuni, 37 days ago. At that point, that's sort of where it gets to be sort of long in my mind. Now, Marvel Future Fight is 43 days ago, but I've been seeing all sorts of videos how there's new updates coming galore with Venom and all these things for Future Fight. I've got people telling me, go play Future Fight, play Future Fight. Uh, you know, I, I'm uh, struggling with that concept. I've done Hero Collectors before. I like PvE content. I don't know if that's really my cup of tea anymore because it's just a never ending thing that just, uh, I don't know, sometimes after a while it just becomes uh, like a collection thing. And for me, depending on my mood, like that's not necessarily what I love to do. I really like the av the one avatar you make and build and sort of just invest in it, like MMOs, uh, MMORPG style stuff. So anyway, future fights, 43 days, but I'm expecting something here pretty soon. It looks like the next weekish. Uh, A3 still alive, 49 days. Knights Chronicle, 55 days. Stone Age World, 100, 168 days. BTW Universal is 210. Seven Nights is 245 days. So, um, you know, Seven Nights is sort of whatever because they've got Seven Nights too. So to me, that's let's just drop that off. So like a lot of these are getting, you know, in this range, over half of them are doing okay. Like that's not that big of a deal. Uh, necessarily the ones in this range eh, it looks like you know maybe bt those two are maybe dropped off and not really covered anymore so i don't really want to hate on them too much but it seems that there's somebody might say and i got this is why it was sent to me is someone said is there a reoccurring pattern here with net marble and I, I i don't know if i was ready to say that per se but i saw it and i was like yeah they got a lot of stuff going here with you know, not, uh, uh, a pretty decent gaps in between updates. Now, personally, if I was a, a game developer, I would expect it to be between 30 and 50 days between actual updates. Now, when I do my updates in the store, I would probably try to have stuff behind the scenes in there. Now, if I was worried about somebody going in there and data mining, then yeah, I'd do those updates a little bit more frequently. But to me, sometimes data mining can be fun. And frankly, I don't care if somebody data mines something and it, we change it later. If I was dumb, I'm like, yeah, that was, we had it in there, we changed it. Now what? Sorry. You know what I mean? Like, and we, oh, that's it. I got excited. Uh, okay, well, I'm sorry. We didn't release it. You know, it's within our rights to put something in the system files and change it. We didn't tell you we, you know, well, anyway, whatever. So what do you guys, th do you guys think this is some sort of clear indication what's going on with that marble? Um, I'm, as I look at this, it's definitely a little long, but I'm not sure I'm ready to say, you know, that it's like a, a direct indication. But one of the things that I did get sent to me, and I need to listen to this while we're watching, we're going to watch this together. So I got a link sent to me. Game of, you guys aren't going to be able to see this here, but this is a Game of Thrones MMORPG. MMORPG. Now, I was a gigantic Game of Thrones person. I loved the series, of course, until the last season. If you want to debate me about it, we can fight, but you're going to lose because 
Uh, still mad about it. I almost didn't watch House of Dragons, which I recently started watching. Not too bad. Maybe I'll let it go and watch that one. But anyway, uh, I'll be mad if they really screw that one up and just be like, see, told you. So anyway, Game of Thrones MMORPG. Let's watch this. Love the music, of course. We got the wall going. Night's Watch, all the things. HBO, all right, not Marvel. Right, so it's an IP, IP, gotta pay for the IP. Looks pretty. Horses running around. Dragons, okay. So very theatrical so far. That looks really cool. Oh, all right. All right. Game of Thrones and all related characters, elements, uh, trademark, uh, home box office, net marble, all rights reserved, net marble, Game of Thrones. All right. So what are your first thoughts after seeing that? Thinking about it. So it's pretty, looks nice. But a Netmarble MMORPG. What do you think? You down for that? You uh, you think they're gonna do well with that? Is there anything that maybe that's happened with MFR that maybe you you know you thought that uh, look at this cool big dragon? You know, is there anything that you you believe is gonna you know lead you to believe that this is gonna be a good game? Let me know what you think. I got this sent to me. Um, I don't know when it's gonna come out. Uh, you know, I also question potentially the timing of this. I think if it's not released uh, while this current season's going on or before it ends or as it ends, like, what are you doing? That marble. But I'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say about this. I know my personal feelings um, based on my experience with MFR, but uh, I'm curious to hear what everyone has to say. So... Anyway, so Netmarble, are these, are these, is Netmarble, and that's why at the beginning of this video, I was like, is this really a Marvel Future Revolution video? I don't know. It might not be. It might be a Netmarble video. And I'm not trying to throw hate necessarily. I'm trying to understand what people think. What do you think this is indicative of? Is this normal? Is this fine? All good. Gaming company. They got to do their updates. They can dedicate certain times to certain things. Cool. Or is this something that's, you know, indicative of something more where they just like, yeah, they, they continually not produce game like they'll get they get a bunch of games and then they get make them look really pretty and then they they update it when they update it and that's just sort of their shtick uh maybe i mean i think as far as i understand they're one of the top three game developers in korea uh which good good for them uh i personally think with my limited experience with dealing with them is that they need to understand global markets better they need to understand global marketing better they need to understand how uh, the global economy works as far as people's brains are different in Korea versus North America versus Europe versus South America and Asia. All those people think differently on how they uh, want to buy offers. And you tie that in with, you know, how a Kraken thinks, how a Dolphin thinks, how a Minnow thinks, how a Free-to-Play thinks. And you, you, you get offers for all of those different groups. Ideally, there's, you know, they're similar. You know, you only have maybe three or four different types of offers, but you have them all. You have them all. And that's how you set up your economy so you can ping every one of those. Because if you're only doing one of those, in my opinion, you're being very short-sighted. You know, it's like, it's not, I mean, unless you want to pump and dump stuff, which that's a stock market term, which I suppose you could do with games. But I mean, if you invest so much into games, you better make sure that, you know, whatever you get that pump up to, it makes up for what you actually put into the game. So, I don't know. I'm not sure where I land on this. I know I'm still frustrated with uh, Netmarble and just the complete and utter lack of communication on their end. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, a lot of people are asking what's going on. I appreciate everybody who continues to come to the channel and comment. I've been hearing a lot of people talk about different video games, like try this one out, try that one out. From Star Wars, the to uh, Tower Tower Fantasy or Fantasy Tower. I mean, there's been uh, several of them that I've sort of looked at. I'm like, I don't know if I want to necessarily do that. So... You know, if you know of games out there that are fun for sure, definitely let me know. I'm not the type of guy who typically just jumps from one game to the next to the next to the next. I try to really think about what I want to do. 
Uh, and at the same time, I want to make sure I can create content. So, and content that, you know, most of you would enjoy. I think some people are probably here because they don't enjoy it and they just want to troll my comments, which is fine. That's fun. I enjoy it. It's like, I mean, as long as it doesn't get like super personal, I guess, but you know, give me a hug after, but, or at least take me to dinner. Uh, I like, uh, let's see. I like Argentinian, uh, grills and steaks, a little Malbec if you're into that. So anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, unless you want to send me a Malbec, hit me up in the comments below. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. You gonna play Game of Thrones MMORPG? Clearly they set up MFR to make you believe that's gonna be a good game, right? 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 Maybe? No? All right, anyway, if you made it this far, appreciate you. If you wanna hammer down like buttons, all the good things, also appreciate it. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.